we're going to start off with, what do we want to do? I think I want to start off with the eyes because I don't want to get any fallout and I just kind of want something fun. We'll see what we come up with, okay? So I have, like I mentioned, a few products that we're going to test out. Products that I hauled in my Walmart haul. If you guys missed that, I will have a link up here. Also, let me know if this lighting is a little too bright. I feel like it is, but it also looks really crisp. So let me know. I'm going to be using the Profusion, Profusion, what? Profusion <laughs> Rituals Palette. This is a brand new. Also, excuse my nails. I've been picking at them. And I just haven't had the time to actually go get them done. So this palette is new from Profusion. And it's like their Halloween almost-ish palette. I really don't know what colors to use. They have so many beautiful shades. Like purple shades. This orange shade. Like this little section right here. Honestly, it's just like drawing me in. But we'll see what we come up with. I don't know where I left my Profusion Eye primer, so I'm just gonna use my NYX shadow and liner primer. This one is really good, and then I've also been using the brushes that I bought from Real Techniques. And this one, out of all, is my absolute favorite. This one is the medium shadow brush. I've actually been using it to like blend out my concealer, and it works super super nice. Just the shape of it, it really gets like right under here and blends out the concealer super nice but as you can see it also works really nicely to blend out your eyeshadow so i will be using it for multiple purposes so for the sake of the palette and today's video i am going to try and stick with more like purples and oranges like halloween themed colors so let's take the shade bewitched which is this really pretty matte purple that is what the color looks like. It's really nice. It doesn't have like a softer, I mean, we do have the shade Rise, which I might end up using to blend out Bewitched. Um, it just has a little bit of sparkle in it, which is not a big deal, but I just typically like my eyeshadows to be pretty matte. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this brush, the shading brush from, again, Real Techniques, and I'm gonna go in with Bewitched. And I'm gonna use this all over the crease, just tapping it in. That actually blended up pretty nicely. I'm going to take a little bit of the shade Rise, which is right next to it. Again, it does have some shimmer in it, but hopefully it doesn't, you know, make a huge difference. So I'm just going to tap that into the brush. So that is the color right there. And I'm going to use that shade, oh, that's pretty, to blend out that color a little bit more that is so pretty and pigmented oh my goodness i can definitely see like all the glitter just like flying everywhere because i think these are meant to be more like pressed versus like blended because of the little glitters but that's okay i'm gonna take i think this shade and we're just gonna lay it all over the lid it's called alchemy i believe that's how you pronounce it it's just a really pretty matte orange with glitter, as you can see on my lids. Like, you can definitely see the glitter throughout. At least I can see it in person, so... Yeah, I'm not a, fan of, not a fan of that, pero ni modo. I am going to cut my crease, and then we're going to go in and apply the orange. Sorry if I'm not being super talkative today, guys. I have such a bad headache. I do not know why, but my head is like not in the best place, you know? For everyone that's been asking me for a health update, I just finished my medication like over the weekend. So I need to wait to get an appointment with my doctor so I can do a second urine test to make sure there's no protein being released by my kidneys. And um, I will let you guys know if anything else pops up. But I feel so much better that I don't think there's anything going on. But who knows? 
I'm gonna use this little brush and I'm gonna take the orange. I wish there was a neon green in here. That would look so pretty with this look. Super Halloween-y vibes, but oh, it doesn't have one. So I'm just gonna have to use this one. Color so far is really pretty actually. This one does look nice all over the lid because it does have a little bit of that sparkle. That orange is really pretty. So for my lashes, I'm gonna go in with the Profusion Spellbinding Foaming Lashes. These are really, really pretty. And they actually look really nice. I just put a ton of mascara in my eye and it's like burning so bad. Now for the face, I don't have a ton of new products, you guys. I have a new concealer from Milk, but that's about it. So Huda Beauty released a primer for the face and it's like a whipped type of primer. I will insert a picture here because I forgot the name, but I bought it to see how it compared to the Touch and Soul pretty, um, what is it, filter? Icy Sherbet Primer, which is this one right here. I don't use it on camera as much, honestly. It's not like my old time favorite, but I just wanted to demonstrate how it looks on the skin in case you have been curious about the Huda Primer. I ended up returning it because it literally does the exact same thing as this primer that I've had in my makeup collection. So it's just a almost like a silicone base primer, but it's really smooth. It doesn't do a great job at minimizing the pores. So if you suffer from like large pores or super oily skin, this is probably not the best primer for you. This one or the Huda Beauty one, but they do even out the skin tone and they do make the appearance of your skin look even overall. So it's a good primer if you have more like combination normal skin. So for my foundation, again, I don't have anything new. So I'm gonna go in with the She Glam, what is this? The Skin Influencer Full Coverage Foundation Balm in the shade Golden. This is such a good foundation in general. It is full coverage and it just melts onto the skin. And let's not even mention how perfect this matches my skin. I do prefer to use this with a brush, but I'm just gonna use it with my sponge for today. Such a good foundation, you guys. And I think it's like under $10 for sure. It's maybe like six bucks or something like that. I know that you can't get this like at the drugstore, but it's still such an affordable product that it's worth checking out. But let's go in with the new Milk Makeup Future Fluid All Over Cream Concealer. So they have a few shades and I ended up picking up the shade 120. It's so creamy and velvety. It feels super soft. It blends really nice. I mean, I swatched it on the back of my hand and it blended really nice. But it looks like a great concealer and it's definitely full coverage. which is always a plus. So now let's go in and blend. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Oh my gosh, that concealer blended so nicely and so effortless. It's super, super creamy, which is something that I love in concealers. Do you guys see how like brightening it is? But it also leaves you a really nice satin finish on the skin. I'm just gonna blend this on the forehead. I am gonna go in with cream bronzer. This one is by She Glam. And honestly, these have just been my go-to because they blend super nicely on the skin. And then for my blush, I'm gonna use this one by She Glam as well. It's called Float On and it's just a super soft peach. I felt like this would go really nice since I have a little bit of orange going on the lids. Do you guys usually do cream contour or do you just skip it? I've been really into it the past few months. I used to never care for cream bronzing, but I feel like it makes such a difference. Like I don't worry about having to apply so much bronzer on the skin. I tend to go a little bit less heavier hand on my bronzer because I feel like Having the cream bronzer kind of helps out, you know? I'm gonna blend out the lightest color first, which is the blush. Look at how pretty that color is.
I'm going to go in and set underneath my eyes using a powder puff. And I am using the Beauty Bakery, the flower powder in yellow, Casanova, whatever it's called. I am pretty much out of this powder, but I refuse to buy another one because I have so many setting powders. But it's definitely like one of my favorites. I am going to go in with the shade Cult from the same palette. I'm pretty sure this is meant to be a bronzer. And I'm just going to use a little bit of it to... Oh, that is so pretty. Bounce up the cheeks and the forehead. Oh, I used a little too much right there. This is actually really pretty though. Then for my blush, I'm going to use Kiss and Tell by ColourPop, which is this color right here. It's really soft and I think it's going to go super well with the cream color that we applied. Now, for my highlighter, I am going to use two. So the palette comes with its own highlight. I'm going to use a little bit of this and then I'm going to layer it so I can get a super blinding highlight. As you can see, this one is a little more not as blinding. It is pretty. But, 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 if you guys remember, I picked up Flair from the same Profusion collection. And I've been using this the past few days and it's so gorgeous. It's like super blinding. It's a jelly consistency highlighter. It's not glitter. It's just a pressed jelly. Almost like the ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. That's exactly what this is. And look at how blinding that is. Last but not least, let's take a little bit of green. I'm going to take this one from the Profusion Neon Palette. This is uh, also a really good palette. And I'm going to pop that into the inner corner. And although that's not going to show up, I'm going to apply a little bit of this on top to make it pop. I just want like a little bit of a base for it to go under. Of course. <clears throat> oh my gosh, no look is completed without the lips. I added a little bit of eyeliner on the top. It just felt like I needed it. So I'm going to use the Milani Saucy Toffee lip liner. And where's my mirror? Go for <clears throat> a more cool toned look since the eyes are so busy. And then for the center of my lips, I'm going to use this matte paint Painted lip color in the shade Sad Song, and this is from the brand About Face. I've only tried a few of their products and I really like them. And I'm gonna add a little bit of this NYX This Is Milky Gloss in a Salted Caramel. So I just threw on the shirt that I showed you guys in my Walmart haul. Honestly, it is so soft and it is so cute. Since I failed to show you because my head was all over the place that day. I'm going to show you how it looks like now. It just looks like this. It's a little oversized, not too much. And it's super comfortable. So that is it, you guys. This is a full face testing and using new and old products honestly you guys this palette is so bomb if you guys are wanting any palette with some colorful eyeshadows the best part is that it comes with a highlight a bronzer and a blush mine pops out so i just kind of have to hold it but honestly you guys this palette is 10 out of 10 so pretty i do also have here the new anastasia palette that i just picked up so we might try this out in our next video let me know what you guys think but other than that that is it for me you guys i am starving i'm waiting for my husband to bring me some food so i can eat dinner lunch dinner but yeah you guys i hope you guys enjoy the video thank you so much for being here i love you all and until next time i will see you all in my next video bye